What's up, what's up? It's Naira Cow staying here chopping it up with Rock Ron Don from Brooklyn Rooftop. What's up, foi? So, you and I often talk about this state of R&B. Mm-hmm. Both genuine connoisseurs of the genre. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is going on? Yo, you know what's going on? All the very good R&B singers are ugly, so nobody listens to them. <laughs> and the very handsome and pretty ones making shitty music we have to listen to because we want to see their videos more. Right. You know? But it gets to a point where we want that. I want to hear, I want to see a video with a nigga with an Averex on dancing in the desert. We need that back. 112, get back together. Please. 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 We need y'all. Tell Diddy I'm sorry. You didn't mean to leave. Ooh, Tell you ain't mean to leave. You, know, you, you, just, you, just wanted, you just wanted to pay your house though one time, sometimes. Get them back together. We need, we need more. We need Case. Case, where you at, Case? You probably fighting a case. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dave Hollister, where you at, boy? You made a song about Baby Mama Drama and it was incredible. I didn't know what Baby Mama Drama was before you, Dave Hollister. I love you. We need you back, girl. We don't want Josie back. Whoa. We don't want Josie back. Whoa. We want Josie music, we don't want them. I don't I just seen a video where the niggas fell off stage again <laughs> in Europe. Them niggas is on drugs, but bro. But even though we do have R&B, like the male R&B singer, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as a male R&B group anymore. Mm -hmm. The last male R&B group was real R&B, which Drew Hill, then we got B2K and they was like a little too young to tell us about real R&B and and it just kind of like disappeared off the face of the earth. We, yeah. That doesn't exist anymore. Well, we had Day 26. Which was good. It was good. Day 26 was definitely good. But it was a publicity stunt by MTV. It wasn't mm -hmm. a, a natural, organic R&B group. Yeah, like dudes who actually grew up together right. and built their brand and their records at the same time. Mm -hmm. However, the labels got cheap. It's, it's cheaper to send one dude on tour to the five. Because in the 360 deal, if you got five people, that's five tax IDs. You know what I'm saying? So you got to you got tax five times. So now it's like, all right, we got this one guy, we just tax him. If it don't work, we write him off. It's hard to write off five motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty, you know, it, it's, it's, it's expensive and then it, it's, people are not buying albums anymore, so it doesn't make sense to, to sign five guys, or even three for that matter. You see how hard it is to sell to find two. However, we just got a good uh, R&B album, TGT, go buy the album, very good. Very good body of music. But those guys are from the essence of R&B. You got Genuine Tank and, and Tyrese. Those are three very good artists who did great on their own, who came together and made something great. No matter how crazy Genuine looked in the interviews, but even on the solo level now, when you talk about it, I feel like every time I'm listening to an R&B track, I'm hearing about bottles, bitches, and drugs. Just, it's like, the singers want to be rappers. I mean, they make it R&R, &R, <laughs> rhythm and rap. That's what it is now. Why, why is Chris Brown rapping? Better than some of the rappers, might I say, but he's an R&B singer, be soft. It's cool you got tattoos, but I want I want you to be soft. I want to feel wooed. I don't want to feel like I'm about to be raped. Like I'm, you know what I mean? Like I want to. I want there's no essence, no finesse in the music anymore. You know what happened to male R and B? Really and truly, the success of the dream. If the dream was never successful, we wouldn't be getting all of this R and B that we got. Because him becoming successful and making the album that he made, Love Hate was like where hip-hop and R&B and pop made a baby and it was that album you understand what I'm saying then he did it again with love versus money and gave us more hits more pop music more he gave us more everything he gave us in the first project and so people was chasing that success and you gotta remember he's writing 80 percent of the industry so now you're getting the record it sounds like a dream record because he actually made it and then you got the weekend now, they're writing everybody's records and they're just nothing but dream with RB riffs. I mean with um, rock and roll riffs. So you're getting Dream, Weekend, Neo. 
That's it. But Neo does straight pop music now. Not even crossover R&B, like straight pop. Mm -hmm. The weekend is on drugs. He's 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 down and depressed 24/7. But he's making he, dope he makes records. He good music, but I. I feel like I don't do enough. I've never done drugs, so I can't really relate to that level of sadness. You know. You ever masturbated and fell asleep? That's I mad sad. I don't masturbate. Mad sad. <laughs> I don't masturbate. No, I can't relate to that. It's mad you know what sad. I mean? <laughs> why, why is Trey songs singing like and when he first came out? He gave us that real R and B. His last good song was, was like, "Can't Be Friends." Yes. That's his last good song. It was a, a nail. His best album was his first album. Right. Because gotta make it. Like you felt it. Like you felt gotta make it. That album, you felt everything. He went all his struggles. Reason he didn't sell, he had braids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Bobby Valentino is a good singer. He's very underrated. He's he's also a good songwriter. Mm -hmm. He's just short. He doesn't have enough promotion. And what he does outside the studio really not helping you chilling out with Benzino. You know, it's not really a good look. Who hit? Let me ask you a question. Why would you want to hang out with Benzino? He fucked up the source. Anybody who can tarnish a hip hop Bible doesn't need to be hung out with. The man gave himself five mics. <laughs> Fuck Benzino, you hear me? Fuck you, Zeno. Fuck you, Zeno. How you give yourself five mics and give, give Marshall Method LP one and a half? Nigga, is you crazy? What the fuck is wrong with you, Benzino? This is a PSA for you. I'm sorry, I take a break. <laughs> fuck Benzino, right? Fuck you. Fuck Dave Mays, and fuck the fat bitch from the show. The, the, the husband that went to have a threesome, cause she was there too. Kim Osario, that's her name. You fat bitch. You fuck. The, you fuck the sauce. All you motherfuckers. Kim Osario fucking niggas for interviews and shit. You fuck the sauce up, bitch. I don't want to hear from you no more. And your husband's a punk. I saw him at the double XL party. He ain't wanna fight. That's a punk motherfucker. All that shit he be talking. Scared of main on nigga. Back to R&B though. Yeah, so like even with the women of R&B. Yeah. There's nobody, I, I hate to say this, like, you know, Mary J. Blige. Hey, Rihanna. Love you, boo. Still got all our pictures together. I miss you. Ow. So back to what I was saying, like, <laughs> The women of R&B. You mm -hmm. can't really call Rihanna an R&B princess because she doesn't make R&B music. Beyonce makes, she makes R&B crossover, pop music. She's she's walking the line. She's, she's walking like in very, 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 fine line. very fine with her. But outside of that, I mean, you got K. Michelle who took over that, that real emotional mm -hmm. music. Her album, by the way, is fire. Go get it. Yes, go buy but K. Michelle shit. Yeah, outside of that, let me tell you what I happened. I mean, it's like nobody getting abused enough anymore to make good quality music. Uh, Keisha Cole finally got a nigga to love her. That album, that when Jeezy dumped her, that was the best Great album. album ever. She had three good albums because she was abused the first one. Mm -hmm. She found love and lost it on the second mm -hmm. one. And then she was looking for love on the third one. Mm -hmm. Then she found love and it was garbage after that. You know what I'm saying? She fired her staff. No more Manny. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Keisha Cole fucked shit up. Um... But you got people like Jaguar Wright who makes great music. You got people like Indy Ari who makes great music. Solange is fucking incredible. It's so underrated. Very underrated. So her last LP was amazing. Yes. And she poured the EP. her heart. It was an EP, that's right. And she poured her heart into it. Mm -hmm. She wrote 90% of that album. Yes. So it's, a, it's people who are making good music. It's the good music are not getting promoted because they come up from ugly people. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so you think because these people are ugly, that they're not, that's why they're not getting the shine that that's they That's exactly get. why they're not getting the shine But I think it's more than that though, because I, I mean, I blame part of it on the label. They want everybody to make the Beyonce to Rihanna music. Everybody isn't Beyonce and Rihanna, like. Mm -hmm. It's not really any, the best R&B sing out right now is Flo Rida. Shout out to Flo Rida, <laughs> He's killing the R&B scene, you and know what I'm saying? there you have it. <laughs> Thank you, Bach. <laughs> no problem. Oh, future. Yo, best R&B singer since we had all year. Shout out to Future, man. Like, like Sierra, you had a good album. Future helped you. It didn't work. Every time you get a new man, your album stinks. 